So we go to Victory Road. Jeff Hardy versus Sting in the main event. And apparently, Jeff Hardy is in absolutely no condition to perform whatsoever. Dude is loaded off his fucking gourd. Eric Bischoff has to go out there, kind of mediate, call an audible at the last minute. The match goes maybe a minute. Sting hits him with a scorpion death drop. Dumbass Hardy tries to fucking kick out of a fucking finisher. They count the, you know, the referee counts the pin anyway. Sting retains the title. The match goes one minute. And this, this is when TNA finally realizes, oh shit, the rails have gone completely off the tracks. We fucked up. They didn't have a backup main event or anything. It pissed a lot of people off. Jeff Hardy, the, the, the big star that they wanted to put all their money behind and everything else, a guy that's known for having some drug issues, you know, who, who was still, who still hadn't had his day in court over the drug trafficking issues at the time. He's the world champion, even though, you know, God knows he could be in jail tomorrow at the time. And, you know, here he is, he's loaded off his gourd, he can't perform at the pay-per-view, he can't perform in the main event of the pay-per-view that you sold the fucking pay-per-view on, and, you know, the complete embarrassment to the company. It's the lowest point in TNA history. If it's not the lowest point in, his, in TNA history, I dare you to tell me one that was lower than this. Victory Road, man. And you know what's even worse? Jeff Hardy still has a job with this company to this day. Jeff Hardy was just on Impact last week. Jeff Hardy was part of the fucking main event. Jeff Hardy is in a major feud with Jeff Jarrett as we speak. He's not gone to rehab. He hasn't shown that he's taken any real steps towards taking sobriety seriously. But here he is. He's still in DNA. Unlike his brother. This moron. Yep, we're going to talk about Matt Hardy. God. Believe me, I don't want to talk about fucking Matt Hardy. I don't. I don't want to talk about Matt Hardy. I want to talk about Matt Hardy less than I want to talk about TNA. But here I am, I'm doing the fucking year in review. So here comes Matt Hardy. Fucking douche. Thank you. Thank you very much. Just like the old Ice Cube song, today was a good day. Matt Hardy, end of 2010, decides, I don't want to be at WWE anymore, so I'm going to go ahead and commit career suicide. He shows up to a house show in fucking England, loaded off his gourd, unable to perform, and WWE sends him home. This gets online in those exact words. The online story, the, the story that hits the internet is Matt Hardy sent home from a WWE show in England. So Matt Hardy decides to respond to this by posting a video in England. And this begins a, ser a really strange series of tweets and videos from Matt Hardy where he's intentionally trying to get fired from WWE. Eventually he does. And he puts out this fucking video. Hey, are we done clapping yet, you fucking douche? Thank you. Thank you very much. Just like the old Ice Cube song, today was a good day. Actually, today was better than a good day, yeah. Today was almost like a great day. Today was a great day. Because today... World Wrestling Entertainment, the WWE, officially gave me, Matt Hardy, my release. <sighs> so you have Matt Hardy putting out these ridiculous videos. Finally gets fired from WWE sometime in like October or something like that. Anyway, January 2011, Genesis. Matt Hardy debuts, looking like Tyler Rex. Dreadlocks and all. No, no clue why, he just decided he's going to have dreadlocks. And he starts calling himself Cold Blood Matt Hardy. 
Yes. Because <clears throat> when you're an emo trying to impress emo girls, you come up with lame nicknames like Cold Blood to make you sound badass. Seriously, only an emo could think Cold Blood Matt Hardy was badass. So Matt Hardy, he wrestles in TNA for a while. And then, much like his brother, who just fucked up a pay-per-view in the lowest moment in TNA history, Matt Hardy decides, I'm not going to show up on time at the TNA shows. I'm going to show up loaded. I'm going to show up in no condition to perform. I'm going to drink and drive. And then when TNA suspends me for being a dumbass, I'm going to go online and tweet about how you should ask TNA for refunds because I wasn't at a house show. So, of course, Matt Hardy suspended, and he continues to put out these fucking YouTube videos. Jesus. Causing even more drama. The guy ends up getting two DUIs in, like, three weeks. And then, the dumbass gets arrested for drug possession. Huge amounts of fucking drugs with intent to distribute. Because intent to distribute, all that means is you have a lot of fucking drugs in your house. Sky, Matt Hardy's girlfriend, so they could go raid his house, and now the dude is facing like 15 years of jail and shit. Now, after the two DUI, and after the arrest, finally TNA is like, okay, fuck it. We're done. We're, we're not, Matt Hardy's fired. Matt Hardy got fired. Matt Hardy got fired. But Jeff? Jeff, who embarrassed you live on pay per view. Do -do -do, still have a job. Wrestling Jeff Jarrett, main event, and that's not even the end of the Matt Hardy story. So Matt Hardy goes into rehab, he's forced into rehab because of the drug arrest, because of the drug possession arrest, it's the condition of his, uh, his bail, okay? He has to go into a rehab program. So he does. WWE's paying for his rehab. <clears throat> so he goes into rehab and for some reason they let him go home for a couple days. He posts a, he and his girlfriend pose naked for a picture. Reby posts it online. And then two days later, we get reports that Matt Hardy's back in jail. You know why Matt Hardy's back in jail? He goes back to rehab and he's loaded, completely loaded. And they kick him out. They're like, well, okay, bye Matt. You, know, you don't wanna, you don't wanna want, let treatment work for you. Well, fuck you. These guys are hardcore. It's not like Dr. Drew who would keep who would try to keep you on the show. Now these guys are like, okay, there's no hope in you. Bye. So Matt Hardy, he's in jail. He's in jail because he couldn't he couldn't complete fucking rehab. And then he manages to get bail and he's back in rehab. So what the fuck? Matt Hardy. Jesus. And then, you know, all year, Matt Hardy's like I'm not an addict. I'm not this. I'm not that. You know, I'm gonna reinvent myself. I'm gonna be like all over main events, man. I dare you to bet against me. My God, right now, Matt Hardy, if you are at least half the joke Scott Hall has become, you are the modern day Jake the Snake Roberts. Bet against you? even know if you should be betting for you at this point. Sober up, you fuck! My god! I, I've been a Hardy fan for a fucking decade. I have like DVD sets. I have the fucking Omega DVD. You know, friend of mine and I try to put our own fucking wrestling promotion together inspired in small part thanks to you and your dumbass 